West Loft traffic, ultra late India, Sierra Charlie Hotel, holding on taxiway Bravo, West Loft traffic. West Loft traffic, ultra late India, Sierra Charlie Hotel, backtracking 2 8, West Loft traffic. We got 170 degrees. Gas temperature looks good. Charging good. Altimeter is good. Now we're just keeping an eye out for geese and stuff. Yeah, it looks like the weather system's moving south. West Hawk traffic, ultra late India, Sierra Charlie Hotel, rolling on 2 8, West Hawk traffic. Oh yeah, we got a little air wrapping in there. Climbing 550, see if we can ease her up to 6. Now, 500 is all she wants to do. Sounds like the air is getting more dense or something, or thin or something. West Hawk traffic, ultra late India, Sir Charlie Hotel, turn north uh, out of the circuit, West Hawk traffic. Well, that quarter after. Fifty six hundred RPM. Seventy-five, seventy-six mile an hour. Summer air makes a bit of a difference, I'll tell you. Although it's only about six, seven degrees out. Where to go? Hmm. Got some shark over there. Got some shark over there. Oh, it feels good to be up again. In three weeks. That one system is the only one I get any concerns about. I don't know where it's going. Uh, I'd like to go to boil today, but... Fifty-six fifty RPM. Seventy-seven, seventy-eight mile an hour, seventy-seven mile an hour. 
hair is still a little thick. It says it's only about seven, five to seven degrees out there. At LeBeau Lake. LeBeau, LeBeau. Where is that system going and how big is it? Just one big ugly cloud by the looks of it. Beautiful morning. Funny, we get a breeze back there, but that lake is uh, like glass. I'll get a some camcorder shot of that. I don't see any geese, so anytime I'm around lakes and stuff, I'm looking for geese. Collision with a shit bomber would not make your day. You see all the fields are getting plowed and planted? It's getting greener. Now the sun's behind me, I could use a little cabin heat. Go to I was gonna go straight in valley this morning, but the forecast is there's thunder showers and stuff coming in the, this afternoon. So, almost too much cabin heat there. I haven't been up this way in a long time. Just do a little bit of flying. Keeping an eye on that fella. Little bit of traffic on 44. This airplane loves climbing. Nice to see everything turning green. All the uh, Hardwood there is all leaves are just about done. Well, there's quite a few of them that haven't sprouted their leaves yet. I don't think I've ever been up that road. Looking for motorcycle territory. I think that goes up to a park. Yeah, that's 801.
trying to get the name of the lake ahead. There's Spruce Island Lake, appropriately named. Um, Long Island Lake. This is a lake with no name. Kind of odd. And heading for Cross Lake Provincial Park. That's where that uh, road goes over there. Get around 5,600, 80 mile an hour. She starts starts telling me she doesn't like it very much. Although the sister ship to this one, he, he flies a 80, 90 miles an hour all the time. He's got a 912 in it. Heavy beast. Looks like a golf course, but it's not. Nice, uh, nice spread down there, nice farm. Kind of cool, there's a little house and cabin set up on the point there. I got this highway for an emergency. The lake with no name. I'll put it on the screen if I ever figure out what lake it is. Actually nice up here. The pavement ends up ahead. No geese, none at all. Man, what a beautiful morning. With the exception of that fellow over there. It's uh, smooth, smooth air. Everything seems to be on the left-hand side. There's a power line on the west side of the road, we're heading north. So the pavement ends. I don't know where that road will take you. Let's find out. Ooh, that's a scurry road. That'll just take you to Highway 2, of course. The other one hooks on to 44. So this is Steel Lake coming up here. I still have a dirt road option for landing in a few fields. Got some freshly cleared, well, not freshly cleared, but it's got all the old forest piled up there for pasture. And Steel Lake. Yeah, I've never been up here.
I'd like to fly over it, but I have zero landing options except for the water. Pretty cold day for a swim. I'm just about out of road here. There's a couple of fields up there. Fields around here. That's it. She just solid woods. Gorgeous, gorgeous country. But it's pretty much all, even where it's forested, you can see nothing but water underneath. Pretty soggy spot right there. Potential crash site here, oh yeah. Nice river going into that lake. Hey, that actually looks like there's a beach up there. There is a beach up there. That explains our road. Well, I better kick my ass around because almost out of gliding range of a field. If I was another thousand feet I'd do it, but... There's that system that doesn't seem to be doing too much of anything. It's kind of sitting there. This cloud's okay, so one spot. Picking up a bit of the uh, tailwind, moving faster. Rains, flying kind. Keep an eye out for ship bombers. There doesn't seem to be too many of them up this morning. Everything's turning green, finally. Yeah, it looks like I could have gone wherever I wanted. That thing's starting to lighten up. But, I guess it's better to err on the side of caution. Try to get Snoopy up there pretty quick. She's all ready to go. Just in the morning, when, this morning it was like four or five degrees. Celsius is pretty damn cold. In the evenings we get the 
thunder showers and up to Steel Lake. Been up for just over 40 minutes so far. Fresh battery in the GoPro. Heading back to the airport. That system is coming in. It's getting closer. Very slowly, but it's coming in closer. So it's heading. It's pretty much heading south east, which is where I'm headed. Southeast. I can see the airport dead ahead. So. We're screaming along at 78 miles an hour, 5,600 RPM, 178 degrees on the engine temperature. Exhaust gas is just 10, just shy of 1,100 on both. Charging at 14 volts. Air speed 78. One happy airplane. Happy engine anyway. It is still nice and smooth. Beautiful smooth air. Despite all the freshly plowed fields which generates some thermals. Bit of a wind. Can't really feel it up here though. Cows down there lazing in the sun. Hot sock traffic, ultralight India's Air Charlie Hotel, about five miles northeast of the uh, airport. Inbound at 3,300 feet. West Hawk Drive. West Hawk Traffic Ultralight India Sierra Charlie Hotel, one mile north east of the runway. Inbound at uh, 3,300 feet. I'll be joining downwind for 2 8 West Hawk. Camera's recording, that's good. Wouldn't want to miss a perfect landing, or a shitty landing. <laughs> West Hawk Traffic, Ultralight India, Sierra Charlie Hotel, downwind for 2-8, West Hawk Traffic. Paint a little tight, that's alright, fix that. Always keep an eye on those exhaust gas temperatures when uh, at the throttle, because around the 4,000 RPM range, they, they tend to get high, 5,000 to 4,000. West Hawk Traffic, Ultralight India, Sierra Charlie Hotel, right base 28, West Hawk Traffic. Also cut a rig off because I am way too high. Of course I got lots of room to comes here. Oh I'm over the lake so I'm getting bounced around a bit. Oh yeah. It is lively here. West Hawk Traffic, Ultralight India, Sierra Charlie Hotel on final for 2-8, full stop. West Hawk Traffic. Yeah, we got a bit of a crosswind here, too. Of course, if I had to, I'd just land on Larry's strip there.
<laughs> just missed that crow, bugger. Gusts, I'm going to give her a little power and bring her in on the mains. Ooh, that. I've done worse. He's even on the ground and getting beat up here. A little squirrely air coming in and some gusting crosswind, but 20 after 9, 1 hour, 5 minutes air time. Westlock traffic ultralight NDSR Charlie Hotel down and clear the runway. Westlock. Beautiful, beautiful day. Nice morning of a flight. Get the bird put away before that mess comes in.